the first thing you do to set up the malaise trap is you find where south is at your site. Um, so Emma's standing at the south end. Um, so you can use a compass on your phone. Uh, it's probably the easiest. Then you measure at some point um, uh, from the south side. Uh, you measure five and a half feet with your measuring tape. Um, and you put these short two foot rebar in um, at both the back and the front end. Um, on the south side, you're gonna then put the, the long PVC pipe um, over the short rebar. And at the back end, you're gonna put the short PVC pipe over the short rebar. So the next step, and this is really important because um, I always forget it, is you want to take <clears throat> the, two, um, the two ropes that are labeled the front ropes, and which is going to be in the bag with the malaise trap. You want to put those over your long end PVC pipe, and then the two ropes labeled back ropes, you want to put over the short end of the PVC pipe before you do anything else. And then next you put, like, um, you won't have to do this hopefully for the trap, but you, um, the cable ties will be already attached to the back end. So you want to um, put one of the back ropes on just above the bottom cable tie and the other back group just above the second cable tie to keep them secure. So the next part is really important. So you fill up the ethanol, about eight ounces of ethanol in the collecting head, and then you're going to put um, this little plastic section, that, this little lip, into these little grooves um, that are in the top of the PVC pipe. And you want it to fit, there's two notches on both sides of the PVC pipe, so you want to pop them into both of those notches and make sure they're really in there. Then we're going to put the cable ties around the neck. Once that's popped in, put cable ties around the neck of these, this jar. Um, and then we're going to put our ropes around there. So in the next shot, you'll see how it's all assembled together. So this is what it looks like when it's all assembled together. You have your, your two cable ties and then your two front ropes are looped around the neck of the bottle. So the next step is you're going to, at a 45 degree angle from the front, you're going to um, take this rope and stake it to the ground. Um, and you will also, hopefully your partner at the same time can um, hook the back of the trap up to the back of the, on the short pole side. Um, I can hook that um, on one, you know, on top of one of the cable ties there. And then your partner, while you're staking down the front, um, can stake down the back too. And again, you want these to, these back ropes to be at about a 45 degree angle. Um, from directly behind the trap. Um, and you'll you want to secure them, make them really taut. The goal is to make the ridge line of the malaise trap very, very straight um, uh, so that it's nice and expanded and taut. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far. We have our two back poles supported. You see how the ridge line is nice and taut, and then we go around to the front and have our two front lines supporting the trap. So the next part is you want to, like how Emma's doing now, you're going to want to put the front, um, these ropes will already be attached for you, um, but the front two ropes that are attached to the little tabs front most tabs you'll want to put stake those into the ground so now you see these 
these front two are down and staked. So the next part is a little tricky. These back two ropes are gonna attach to some the long four foot rebar um, that we're gonna place uh, right, ar right around this location. So you'll see it in the next shot, but you want to place your rebar um, at a distance from, so here's our, our long rebar. And this back rope, you want to make it as taut as it'll go. So, so like that. Um, the knot will move down, um, move all the way. You know, this is a taut line rope, so it'll move up and down. So you want it to, you want to make this as taut as possible on this back rope. And where you're going to place the rebar, you're going to stand out. You're going to position yourself right in line with the back pole and take about one little side step to the, to the right of the back pole. If you're on the other side, it'll be to the left. Um, and because you kind of almost want to be at a 45 degree angle from the back pole, not quite. Um, so yeah, get yourself in line with that back pole. Take one step, one little step to the right. And that's probably going to be where you want your rebar. And so you want to place your rebar just outside of the range of the rope when it's at its most taut. So you kind of want to, kind of where my thumb, my thumb is, um, you're going to want to set the rebar here um, in the ground. And you'll see that in the next shot. Another thing you'll want to keep in mind is with your rebar, um, you want to put the rebar in, especially the short rebars when you're doing, working with the PVC, you want to make sure that the ends aren't super bent. Um, if you have a bent end, um, you know, put that end, can't really focus here, but put that end in the ground and put the nice, nice end facing up. And that's more for the short rebar than it is for the long rebar. So that the PVC can fit over. Here you see we got our back rebar in and we've attached it um, we've attached it to the the very back rope and kind of that middle rope that's attached to the, the middle of the tent. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. So here's our malaise trap put together. So now the last step is just to put the stakes in the ground um, on the actual tent itself like Emma's doing. So you're just going to stake down um, the front and back and there's also some middle, um, some little middle parts of the tent you can stake down to. Um, you can see how the ridge line kind of is drooping here. That can be a number of things. One thing you can try if it's still drooping a little is, you know, tightening these back ropes that'll make it go straighter. Um, also, this guy, if you bring him up, um, you can bring him up kind of above this cable tie. Um, I usually put a little piece of duct tape just to extra secure this um, little attachment of the tent to the pole, um, which is what I'm going to do next. But yeah, I'm going to do that, maybe bring it up above here, and also tighten these back ropes just to kind of straighten out that ridge line just a little bit because it's a little droopy. All right, so this is our malaise tent. Looks beautiful. Um, and so, yeah, you see kind of all the setup here. I'll walk around it. We put flagging up just to keep the mowers from hitting it. Um, there's my little piece of uh, tape. Um, securing the back of the tent um, so you can kind of see the whole whole noise trap here there we go and that's it